So today I have my interview with UNO for the master's program. Getting all spiffy. But before uh, we go to that, here's a little recap of my doctor's appointment yesterday. Today, go see a knee doctor. Finally. You're gonna lay on your back on the table for the first one, the rest will be standing. About to see the orthopedic doctor. Here's one of my x rays now. Show how the knees work. Hello, Mr. Johnson. Hello, doctor. Um, from looks here on your, your x rays, it looks like you have the early on stages of arthritis. I've heard that before. Yes, uh, it looks like you have the needs of a 60 year old person that usually comes in here. I've heard that before too. There's not much we can do um, considering your weight. Uh, the, the only option for you to do is to lose the weight. That's going to be kind of difficult. Um, I can't even stand for more than five minutes without being in some excruciating pain. I understand that you're in pain, uh, sir, but uh, if you would just lose the weight, uh, that pain would be gone uh, and your knees wouldn't be in the, the, sh the bad shape that they are. But even if I could magically lose the weight overnight, I would still have the knees of a 60-year-old, even though I'm 33. Wouldn't I? What about steroid injections? Well, what we can do is, we wouldn't use a steroid injection because that usually destroys uh, the remaining uh, cartilage that you have between your knee joints and you still have some. Uh, what we can do is give you a, an anti-inflammatory injection, uh, three, three, three drugs and one, one uh, injection for each knee. How long do they last? Three weeks to three months. Uh, if it lasts less than three weeks, we consider that a failing option um, and we would have to move to something else. And what happens if it fails? The only thing we can suggest is some form of physical therapy to help strengthen the knee. Is there another option? Other than that, sir, you just need to lose weight. So how does one lose weight if they can't even be mobile enough to do the weight loss? I don't have an answer for you for that. Yeah, that's what I thought. See, the issue with, it, you know, just suggesting it's weight loss, they, 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 the doctors look at me like, that because I'm fat, I deserve to have bad knees. That just because I was heavy, I've put pressure on my knees and destroyed them. The thing is, is, every time I've hurt my knees, it wasn't because I was just walking down the street. They've always been us usually issues of when I was physically active. First time I twisted my knee, I was playing kickball in fifth grade. Uh, time after that, I was playing, um, like wrestling, like fake wrestling outside with my friends. I was being active, you know, even though I was a heavy child, I was typically outside with my friends on most occasions, running up around, playing hide and seek, playing basketball, playing kickball, playing baseball. I, I wasn't just always inside munching on food, playing video games or something. I was outside. The second time, the third time I injured my knee, we were playing kickball in the street. And, uh, you know, I ran and my knee gave out. Um, later in college, my knee, my knee, uh, my other knee gave out because I was doing something physically active with friends at college. But it wasn't because I was, you know, just walking around the street being big and fat. I was physically active. So I was a physically active, overweight man. And until recently, other than my high blood pressure, I don't have any other medical issues. So when doctors just say, just lose weight, it's like, well, I can't now lose weight because I have lost weight in the past. But even when I lost weight, I was still had bad knees. I couldn't stand for longer than an hour before. I couldn't walk around for more than 30 minutes or run around. Like even when I lost weight, I was able to jog on a treadmill. But even after, you know, doing that for 20 minutes, my knees would be in so much pain. Here I am at 33 with 60 year old knees. Even if I magically lost the weight overnight, when I'm turned 40, am I going to have the knees of a 7-year-old? So then by the time I even reach 60, will my knees be the equivalent of a 9-year-old? Will I be, you know, incapacitated from moving? Just got done at the orthopedic doctor. They gave me injections of anti-inflammatory medicine in my knees. They're supposed to last 3 weeks to 3 months. We'll see. They would not let me film the injections. The knee doctor said it was against their policy or something like that. 
uh, the x-ray technician said HIPAA. I looked up on HIPAA and it's my right to choose how I want my information spread or given to people. So if I want to film it, I should be allowed to film it. Um, as long as I'm not filming their faces, I just don't see the issue. But I couldn't film it and it was really wicked. The needle was like this long, went all the way into my knee. And you just see him like pushing really hard to to inject the saline, not the saline, the, but the solution. Anyway, <sighs> supposed to start working in 20 minutes. We'll see. So those injections lasted five days. They did work for those five days. Didn't have a lot of knee pain. I could be on my feet for a good 45 minutes to an hour, but uh, after 45 minutes to an hour, the pain would come on like boom, hurt. But it's five days, completely gone. All the pain's back. I'm very nervous about my meeting. Let's hope everything goes well. So I just got done. Um, just got done in there. I just had to drink a bunch of water. My mouth was so dry um, from doing a lot of talking. I'm not used to. I mean, talking in front of you guys is very easy compared to like sitting in the room for like a half hour and talking. Mouth gets dry. But um, I think it went okay. Uh, I don't know if I convinced them that I need film school or that UNO would benefit from me. That part of the question I don't think I did so well at. Uh, I avoided a lot of eye contact because I'm not used to looking in people's eyes when I talk to them. I, you know, stare off up to the left a lot when I'm thinking. But also behind them was a bright open window, which was kind of hard to look at people directly because of the, the bright light uh, from the sun. But uh, I hope it went well. I hope everything turns out great. Uh, but I don't know. We'll see.